Hello. Hello everyone. So today session we will discuss about the factor. <coughs> so factor are the data objects which are used to categorize the data and store it as a labels. So factor as in data objects and that the data objects will be used to categorize the data and store it as a label. For example, we consider gender as a male, female, male, female, etc. So for that the male, female, gender, we have to categorize female as well as the male and we have to make its labels. So they can store both strings and integers values, no problem. It stores <coughs> string as well as integer values. They are useful in the columns which have a limited number of unique values like male, female, and true and false, etc. Means already we discussed about that. So they are useful in data analysis for statistical modeling. Means where to use in data analysis for the statistical modeling purpose, we require this fact. Or it is a major plays a major role in uh, statistical modeling in data analysis. So how we create the factor? So factors are created using the factor function by taking a vector as an input. Means vector means we have to store the data values of either strings or integer or we will discuss that. And that vector we have to give input parameters to the factor function. And that factor function gives us categorized data as well as its labels. So how we create the factor? So let's take one example. Create a vector as input means we have to take a data values as a direction like east, east, north, east, 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 north, etc. So the first, sorry, second line is nothing but we have to print the data data values. In the third line, print is a dot of factor means we have to check here the given vector is either a factor or not. So that uh, is dot factor function we have to use for that is dot factor we have to pass the data as a, uh, at, uh, data as <coughs> data values. So after that we have to apply the factor function. After the evolution of this print function, the uh, values comes as uh, Logical value is true or false. Means after the running this statement, the value will be false because this data is not our uh, factor format. So, how we convert that factor format here? So, for that, the factor function we have to pass this data uh, vector values. What did we discuss here? So, after that, conversion of this data into factor data, we have to keep in another object with nothing but the factor data. Now, we have to print the fact, print factor data. Uh, sorry, we have to display the values present. The data by using print function as well as we have to also check its class by using is, is dot factor so now here is answer is it true so how we apply the factors on a data frames so people are not about the data frame etc but on creating any data frame with a column of text data R treats the text column as a category data and creates factors on it means on text data we have to implement a factor so let me take one example. We have to take data frame as input data. Means input data as the name of our data frame. So for the data frame, we have to pass the three vectors. First is height. Height is uh, integer value vector. Second vector is the weight vector. Also passes value as a uh, integer. And third is the gender. Gender having the string values as either male, female, etc. So after running this code, we got uh, data frame of input data. So likewise printing here input data. <coughs> After that, we have to test if the gender column is a factor or not here. So print is dot factor. For the is dot factor, we have to pass input data as a gender. Gender column, we have to pass for the input is dot factor here. <coughs> so this print function gives us value as a true because the gender function, so gender uh, having as a data value uh, as a factor. So next print the gender column to see the labels. After the running this print statement we got to we receive the value as the uh, labels of the categorized data. So in next session we will discuss practically means how we create the uh, how we create the factor as well as how we display the labels of that factor. Thank you.